Hey, hi there, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot card prediction for September 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and I'd like to thank you guys for supporting my channel. It keeps me able to provide you with these free readings. And there's also a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below. It can help you out with these kind of readings. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Five of Wands, Taurus. Fire energy. It's a card of battling, struggling, can be competition, family rivalries. You'll have to agree to disagree. Could be working at cross purposes. Can be new factors that have come in and today they demand that you change, adapt, and grow. You might have to put in more effort to keep what you've already gained. All fives are pivotal turning points. This is bringing in uncertainty and shifting vibrations, feeling some unrest. It could be petty, petty obstacles, annoyances, short-term difficulties in communication, which, once overcome, can change things for the better. These can be competing forces without a clear winner as yet. Fighting, conflicts, Egos, holding your position within drama. This can also be a building site. Carpenters, scaffolders, workshop, creative chaos. It's fighting for what matters to you. This can be being agitated, competitive, contentious, combative, confused, bickering, struggling to unify disparities, jockeying for a position, restructuring, brainstorming. This are problems to solve and conflicts and arguments. It can be clashing of personalities or just differences of opinion. It's these differences that should be examined. It is from them that new and ideas and interesting compromises emerge. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. This is really good, Taurus. Number 17 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Weight deck, the star. This can represent an Aquarius. Aquarius can be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. Card of great hope, love, faith. It's inspiration, good health, insight. It's the peace and the confidence that comes after the explosion of the tower. It's renewal and faith renewed. It's nurturing a dream. It's a realization of dreams and goals that are now possible. It brings in mental stability, major growth and development. Blessings are flowing freely like water, carries bright promises, and it's a good time to begin a new project or a relationship as it carries blessings with it. It's being at the right place at the right time, having a relaxed and calm and eager but frame of mind. This is calm confidence that carries us through all situations. It's being replenished, hopeful, peaceful, cooperative, charitable and devoted, feeling inspired and self-accepting, nurturing and, and appreciative. The Five of Wands with the Star card is a karmic lesson. Its problems or differences resolved. It's focus on peace and harmony and not throwing egos around. Ego is the love killer. It's struggles that lead to compromise, inspiration. It's battling to renew faith. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus. This can be your attitude. And this is your card in this reading. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Can be a male or a female in a, a uh, general reading. Now this is someone that's domestic. They're practical and they're capable and they're orderly. They're generous and benevolent. They respect money as a tool, but they do not worship it. They want tangible results. 
from the money they distribute or offer, loan you, pay you to do work for them. This is harvest after much labor and prudent uses of resources. This is someone that's nurturing like a mother. They're protective, resourceful, bountiful. They're fertile. They're a homemaker, housekeeper. They love gardens and growing things. This is someone that's affectionate and caring, and they love nature and animals, and they know how to manage money. This can also indicate help given of a practical nature. It has to do with material concerns. And this person teaches that what is cherished must be cared for. Just someone that puts a high value on stability. And maybe they don't always show or say how they feel. The Five of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles is choosing, choosing which battles to focus on. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number seven of the major arcana, the chariot. This can represent a cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. Cancer could be in your chart or someone else's. Now this is the a card of control, triumph, and victory. It's success and control over the forces of nature as well as triumph over ill health money difficulties, or enemies of any sort, including your own lower animal passions. It's a clear sense of purpose. It can also indicate your car or travel and comfort. It's putting commitment to the test and spearing a middle course through opposing feelings and thoughts and desires. It's control and momentum with willpower and determination, and victory is assured. It's conquest of mind over emotions, it's having a confident personality. It's a fight for self-assertion. It's action and determination and overcoming obstacles. It's the clearing of the path of victory in your desires and it's swift action and reach near goals. It's a positive and quick result on the way and mastery over opposing forces. It's going with the flow and using firm resolve and staying on the course you've set for yourself. It can also mean assistance is on the way and it's creating a firm foundation on which to pursue your desires with a clear sense of purpose. These are soul tests and advancements. The Five of Wands with the Chariot card is maintain focus. Do not get distracted. Then you'll be able to stand out and make an impression. Hold your own to reach your goal and stay focused and expect some confusion or struggle. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Ten of Cups, Taurus, water energy. Now this is a card of Mars and Pisces. Shared love, happy family, contentment. It's the best relationship you've ever experienced. It's because it's inspired from above. It's true love and it's better than you expected. And you'll be embarking on something that makes life worth living and find that your family life is a source of joy. Shared love and blessings and peace and family, a grateful and joyous family. It's having enough happiness to share with those around you. It's happiness from fam the knowing that your family loves each other and a realization of what matters and counting your blessings. It's feeling the bliss, loving unconditionally, appreciating abundance, living your dreams. But there is a shadow to this card. It's not the reverse meaning, it's just the shadow to the upright meaning. It's expecting the bliss to last forever because it's like a fairy tale experience and only masters can achieve this long term by a trained mind. The Five of Wands with the Ten of Cups is family conflicts. Look for common ground. It can be a lack of harmony and trying to unify focus. 
The star with the Queen of Pentacles is healing in the home. It's nurturing with good food. The star with the chariot card is beware of glitterings that may not be gold. Be aware of temptations that are false or premature. It could be giving up because of a false sense of confidence. It represents a spiritual effort. This is a choice to make to get you to your dreams. The star with the Ten of Cups is hope for a family situation. It's harmonious family relations, peace, and happiness. The Queen of Pentacles with the Chariot card is taking charge, being in control of finances. The Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups is everyone benefits from a nurturing woman. Chariot with the Ten of Cups is the practice of self-control that leads to happiness, contentment. This is a major victory that's imminent. Loosen up and do not worry if things are not moving as fast as you as you like. Here's your card from the deck, vice versa. Tarot cards by Lunia Weatherstone. You've got the Two of Pentacles, Taurus. Earth energy. This is Jupiter and Capricorn. Earth energy, the Two of Pentacles. This side. A young jester dances on a pleasant seaside walkway. The two golden pentacles he juggles are energetically linked by a glowing loop in the shape of an infinity symbol. The ocean at his back is calm under a soft blue sky. A ship in in full sail glides past the scene. When you get this side in a reading, life may seem like a balancing act these days, but keep your good humor and you'll be able to handle it all with grace. The key is to only take on as many obligations as you can reasonably juggle at once and finish with each before you pick up the next one. New opportunities are on the horizon. Be ready to demonstrate that you can happily take them on and succeed. Thanks, you guys, Taurus. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.